Chapter 8, The Stowaway. Over the shimmering sands of Terra Hipt, Lupra's Zerzek flew low. Towards a flat area, the sand was opening up into a hole that led down into Agratirda. The Zerzek stopped above it and then gently descended. Below the surface, bronze metal arms were holding the hole open for them. The pale surface now turned into a ceiling. There was an endless empty space underneath. Subtle silhouettes of large metal arms and tendrils could be seen in the distance. They were descending further. Argol told Lupra to halt for a moment. He walked back into the Zerzek. He could sense that there was another Dutvutanian presence aside from the Septo Blade attached to the Zerzek. He scanned the room. He saw a long chest. He opened it and saw a man in black Dutvutanian trousers coiled up inside. The man looked at Argol and smiled. Argol slammed the chest shut. He took a metal rod and bended it around the handles. He carried the chest out and then kicked it off from the Zerzek, and it was falling down into the bronze void, fading into the fog. He went back in and told Lupra to continue. The stowaway in the chest was Sedson. He tried to use his strong legs to break free. They only scraped against the insides. He could not get a good footing against the metal. He spread his legs out really hard. His spine was almost snapping. He could not get out. He was falling forever. But then he could feel that the chest was being grabbed by something, and he went to a gentle stop. He could hear Thelians outside speaking to each other. Then the metal rod was cut. The the chest opened up, and he was met with a small Thillian with long black hair. She had a tight bodysuit and black furry boots. She was not Dutvutanian. Her skin was pale, and she had dark amber eyes. She looked at Sedson suspiciously. Why are you locked in like that? Sedson stretched his legs and sat up. It appears that I always get into trouble with old grandpas. I was thrown out of a Zerzek, Sedson complained. Can you tell me where I am? This does not look like Dutvutan. The Thillian sniffed. What? Did you just say Terra hipped? Sedson said with a surprised tone. The Thillian nodded. Sedson immediately picked her up and danced with her. Finally, no more perverted Dutvutanians. I have wanted to come to this place for hundreds of years. The Thillian giggled from how happy this human was. He held her in his arms. Can you tell me your name, little Sniff? She sniffed back. My name is Linnea. I work down here in Agratirda, together with my Agrian friends. Agrians, you say? I have heard of them. They are quite the tussle when Dutvutanians mess around in the Omnira. Linnea looked down. She saw his Dutvutanian trousers. Don't mind those. I just use them as tools to run away from Dutvutanians. Kind of ironic, isn't it? Sedson nudged his finger on her nose. He put her down and inspected his surroundings. He was at some kind of outpost with a great road stretching out into the mist. Everything had a bronze tinge. Golden lights were scattered about lampposts and small windows. Is this what the inside of Terra Hip looks like? He asked. Yes, but I want to ask, why were you locked up in a chest anyway? Linnea looked at it. You see, a desperate man needs desperate measures. You wouldn't want to live on Dutvutan for 600 years, would you? Linnea agreed. But how come this human looks so young? She was impressed by his physique, toned arms, and a lean stomach. But she has seen plenty of human men and women gaining youth after coming to Terra Hipt. Linnea had a three-wheeled bike, two in the front, one in the back. She opened the trunk and brought out a copper bottle. Do you want a drink? I figured you'd like this. Sedson took it. It was cold to the touch. He screwed the cap off and heard a fizz. Wait, you have beer on Terra Hipped? He gave it a whiff. I don't know what beer is. That is loath. He took a sip. This is definitely beer. I already love this place. Sedson downed the entire thing. It was a strong beer. Do not drink all of it. What about your trousers? I will not fall of the platform. If I do, catch me again, you sweet angel, Sedson replied with a slight step to the side. Linnea drooped her eyelids. My good lord, what is that? Sedson dropped his beer. He looked at something behind Linnea. It was a giant Cerethelian walking along the road. You have not seen a Cerethelian before? She asked. She is beautiful. He saw a, a giant Thelian with light silver skin. Her whole body was covered in a thin fuzz that reflected the golden lights, blue piercing eyes and large towering ears that clawed at the sky, and huge frontal features. <laughs> the Cyrethelian walked up to them standing as if she is inspecting a pair of ants. He has never seen such perfection before. Linnea glanced at his Dutvutanian trousers. 
I hope you keep those on. <sighs> Sedson just stood there gawking at this utter unit. Awesome technology. Uh, 